Hi guys, today we will be discussing in short about MRCS ENT. It is a Royal College exam enabling us to get GMC registration and the eligibility to practice in UK as well. It is a mandatory exam in order to enter higher specialty training in the UK and we can just keep this as an additional ENT diploma which can be written along with our name. This exam is usually conducted by four royal colleges, that is the Royal College of England, Edinburgh, Glasgow or Ireland. There are mainly two pathways in order to get this. Either you can apply for the MRCS Part A exam, pass that and then go to the Don's Hosky exam and hence be eligible for the MRCS ENT degree, that is it comprises of two exams or otherwise you can completely give the MRCS part A and B along with Dawn's part A and B and hence you will be eligible for the MRCS ENT degree. So uh, the, the second pathway will have four exams which is not usually done nowadays and this is the path which is taken by the ones who already have the Dawn's degree and just want the MRCS ENT so they have to give the MRCS exam and hence they will be eligible for the MRCS ENT degree. Coming to MRCS Part A exam, it is a 5 hour MCQ exam. The paper 1 is Applied Basic Sciences of 3 hours duration, which comprises of two papers of 1.5 hours each with a short break in between. The second paper is Principles of General Surgery, which is of around 2 hours. So by this you would recognize that the main subjects covered here are uh, Ortho, General Surgery, or physiology and anatomy and ENT questions are very rare in this part A exam so that's why a thorough preparation is needed for the part A and for passing you will require a minimum level in each paper along with achieving a total pass mark of around 80 percentage which varies in each exam so uh, it is always around 80 it can be a little more or less it can be the exam can be online as well as offline and all the colleges will have the same papers the maximum number of attempts is six attempts and the fee will be 550 GBP this was the fee when I applied in Jan 2021 session and the eligibility is primary medical qualification which is acceptable to the GMC UK in the, in the last Jan 21 session it was completely online that is we could give the exam from home but it varies from uh, session to session so you will have to see the exam which you are applying to. Coming to the Dawn's OSCE exam, you must pass part A MRCS normally before applying for the Dawn's OSCE exam. Previously it was around 25 to 30 stations of 7 minutes each with around 3 to 5 rest stations in between which were conducted in the Royal Colleges. The 20, October 2021 session was partly online and partly in person. There we had around 20 stations online of around 2.5 hours duration, uh, each of around 7 minutes. And this is called as the non-man stations. So this was conducted on day 1 and we had a gap in between the non-man and the man stations. So the man stations was conducted day after, that was around 4 man stations with three free stations in between which were conducted in the Royal College directly. It is usually conducted around three times a year in one house center but due to COVID restrictions the October 2021 session was held in all the colleges. So this also varies from time to time and you have to check the exam in which you are applying to know more details. The maximum attempts are four and you must give the exam within seven years of completion of part A of MRCS. The fee for Don's OSCE is around 997 GBP and the exam is completely in English. The results are usually issued by the college to which the student applies and there is no difference in exam in between colleges as I have previously discussed. Coming to the membership, once a candidate passes both the exams, they are eligible for election as a member of the Royal College of Surgeons with which they have completed Don's OSCE exam for the MRCS ENT Diploma Award. 
that means if you have applied with the royal college of surgeons of england for the don skoski exam then the mrcs ent diploma awarded to you will be from the royal college of england so whichever college you apply for for, for the don skoski exam that is the college that will grant you the mrcs ent diploma coming to the fee for this membership again you have to pay a fee uh, for uh, for getting this mrcs ent diploma after passing the exams and for indians it is uh, if we apply from india it is around 225 gbp and it varies from country country to country hence once we complete the mrcs part 1 along with the dons oski we will be eligible for the mrcs ent and if we are planning to move to the uk we will need to give the oet or the ielts exam which is the language test and we will be eligible to apply for gmc registration once we get the gmc registration we can apply for jobs in the uk i hope i have summarized a little bit about the mrcs ent if you need more details on how to prepare for each exam the part a as well as the dons oski i can prepare a detailed video on it Please comment in the comment section if you need any further details. Thank you.